My name is Dr. Nellie Tan, and we're going to go through some abnormal ultrasound findings based on the Amster National Medical Student Curriculum. Here's an example of a normal renal ultrasound. We see normal renal, renal cor cortex in the hypoechoic region or dark area, and then the normal renal sinus fat. In contrast to that, we see in this patient who presents with acute kidney injury, AKI, and the renal ultrasound demonstrates abnormal findings. Specifically, there is moderate to severe hydronephrosis. So this is an example of hydronephrosis on ultrasound. This patient also has an abnormal renal ultrasound findings, and we see that this patient has severe hydronephrosis. Again, this is a normal renal ultrasound in comparison, and we see that the renal sinus fat is displaced by severe dilated collecting system. And if we look at this CT, we see that the patient has a right distal ureteral vesicle stone, which is causing dis distal proximal and distal hydroureteral nephrosis. So the patient will require intervention to prevent urosepsis. We're going to look at now bile ducts. This is an example of normal bile ducts. These hypoquic regions, the curvilinear regions, are corresponding to the vessels, but the rest of the liver parenchyma is normal and there's no biliary ductal dilatation. In contrast, this is what an abnormal biliary ductal dilatation looks like on ultrasound. We see there are dilated, the entire central and the peripheral ductal systems are dilated, as you can see by these branching hypoechoic dilated tubular structures, which are dilated bile ducts. And this is an example of an MRCP, which confirms markedly severely dilated intra and extrahepatic bile ducts extending to the CBD and to the level of the distal CBD due to a pancreatic mass, which is difficult to see here, but is from a pancreatic mass. This is an example of what a normal bile duct system should look like on MRCP. And in comparison, the abnormal MRCP images we see here demonstrate severely dilated intra and extra hepatic bile ducts from an obstructing pancreatic mass. Here is an example of gallbladder stones that we can see on ultrasound in patients who can present with right upper quadrant pain. And this same patient has abnormal free fluid, this dark curvilinear hypoquic region around the gallbladder. This is pericholecystic fluid. And this patient underwent a CT abdomen and pelvis, which confirms gallstones, and there are severe stranding and inflammatory changes around the gallbladder. These findings are consistent with gallstone acute cholecystitis. So this is a cine of the gallstones on that same patient. And again, this is the pericholecystic fluid, uh, which confirms the diagnosis of cholecystitis. If you are unclear about the diagnosis of acute cholecystitis, for example, patient has equivocal equivocal imaging or clinical findings, you can perform a nuclear medicine study called a HIDA scan. The HIDA scan demonstrates, in this example, here's a normal example of a HIDA scan. The tracer is taken up by the hepatocytes, excreted uh, through the bile duct system and into the small bowel, uh, which is normal. And more importantly, the finding here is that at the end, we see this gallbladder that is uh, filling up with the normal radio tracer. In contrast, in patients with acute cholecystitis, we do not see the normal gallbladder taken up, um, which we see up here in this first image in, at the end right there. Um, and we don't see that here. So HIDA scan can be used to make a diagnosis of acute cholecystitis. In this setting, the cystic duct to, is obstructed, so normal radio tracer is not taken up into the gallbladder. And so that absence of gallbladder uptake is diagnostic for acute cholecystitis. 
Here is another example of intrahepatic biliary ductal dilatation. This is just a finding and we need to identify where the obstruction is. So in this case, an MRCP demonstrates the finding is in the CBD. There's a filling defect in the distal CBD consistent with a CBD stone. So we saw an example of a pancreatic mass earlier, which causes intrahepatic dilatation. In this case, we have a CBD gallstone that is causing the intrahepatic biliary ductal dilatation. So that is a summary of some of the abnormal findings we can see by ultrasound with subsequent workup that could be performed by MRCP in the setting of biliary obstruction or HIDA if there is equivocal concern for acute cholecystitis.